Hey everybody, welcome to my closet. It's Friday, January 25th, and I haven't vlogged all week. Uh, haven't done much this week either. Well, I mean I have. I always say that I haven't done much. I have. You know, the kids have their routines. I take them to places. I painted the dining room. Uh, and now I'm in my closet because this is zone four, master bedroom and the loft cleanup. So I have designated my closet, organization, decluttering, getting rid of shit stuff to be part of my master bedroom zone four. So um, although I've purged a lot of things in the move, I feel that I still need to purge more stuff. So I'm gonna be working on that today and uh, um, last week I got these hangers, 50 velvet hangers from Costco for $9.99 and I got four of them so I could do like a renovation of all my closets. And on top of that, from Amazon, I got four sets of 16 hanger covers. So the dust doesn't form on your clothes and then you have when you put your clothes on you don't have like a line of dust on your shoulders so uh so yeah lessons learned from earlier this week when I was painting the dining room so I'm doing that Dorian gray color the accent color so it's dark way darker than the calico cream that I've already painted so you have to be very precise with your edges and I use a variety of, of painting tape, but um, I have found that the 3M brand multi-surface edge lock tape is the best tape. Just do yourself a favor, especially if you have textured walls, and get that specific type of tape. It will save you a load of rework. So. I used it on like surfaces going down a wall where I was going to make a clear stop before another like little wall, you know, so you can see like the line and then the next color starts. It did really well on those corner edges, but up at the ceiling, I used just a regular blue painter's tape, did not work as well. So now I have those touch ups to do. I'll probably do them this weekend, maybe, maybe early next week. But again, 3M multi-surface edge lock paint. That's the way to go. I wanna use all the paint that we have bought. I mean, uh, I wanna use all the tape that we've already bought before I go purchase more. But since I'm painting a darker color, I might just go and get that type of tape anyway. Um, Cause it's convenient and it saves you time. And I guess it saves you money too if you have to go buy more paint to fix edges and seep through and stuff like that. But the color turned out really well in the dining room and it looks beautiful on the fireplace and um, I do have one more room, a half bath, that I want to paint with it. But I don't think I have enough paint to finish that room so I think I'll do one more accent wall downstairs, like the entryway or something, and then buy another gallon to do the bathroom like when Paul is here. Um, yeah, but that's it, you guys. That's really all that I had going on this week. Just like house maintenance stuff, house painting, taking care of kids, driving them all around. I didn't even go to the gym this week. And I may have cheated on my keto. Like, I really needed something sweet this week, you guys. So maybe every day something fell into my mouth that had carbs. So I have six more days until I am officially a retired veteran. And then who knows what's gonna happen from there. I've applied for some jobs, local, state, and federal. I'm not, I haven't 
those jobs have closed out earlier this month and I haven't heard anything yet. So I'm wondering if it's shut down, the, the shutdown is the reason why, I'm not sure. I know federal jobs sometimes take months and months, like there's this long process you have to get through. Um, I'm not sure about state or local level jobs, but just waiting it out. Although the kids are good and settled into their routine, like I'm not settled into mine, and there's that unknown that keeps giving me anxiety like I'm a Capricorn with a Virgo rising like I have to have a plan and I have to work and I and I just have I have to get stuff done and when I'm not getting stuff done anxiety builds up like I should be doing something and I don't know what the plan is and I want to know what the plan is so I can move forward and be at ease so I don't really know what's gonna happen I guess I'll just have to wait it out but for now I'm going to watch YouTube or listen to a podcast and organize my closet I'm not sure if we're gonna have a video from Paul this week he just pulled back into San Diego from being underway today I don't know if he'll give me a video today or tomorrow um, but for sure next week we should have some word from him and then um yeah, he should be home soon too for a visit. Why, hello everybody. Um, so, still in San Diego. I know I fell off the map a little bit. Busy on the ship. Uh, spent some time out at sea. Uh, but now I'm back in. I'm heading out on a ride. I rented a Harley. Um, meeting up with all my motorcycle peeps that are still in California. A couple of them moved elsewhere with the military and riding today and that's it my time is rapidly drawing to a close here in SoCal and I'm uh, looking forward to it so that's what I've been up to uh, less than a week I'll be home and so much looking forward to that Happy Saturday morning. We're just here watching Pinky Malinky. Wiener, 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 wiener. I love this Pinky Malinky. And if you're an adult and you watch it, it's pretty funny. You should check it out. It's on Netflix. It's a Nickelodeon. Uh, a Nickelodeon branded cartoon that's on Netflix. So I'm just drinking my Americano. Bella is in her dance class. One hour later, Miss Bella emerges from her dance class. Hello, Bella. You got a donut? From the Krispy Kreme? Yeah. Come on in. Someone from my dance brought them. Delicious. Yeah. Well, I saved, I saved the grapes and the peanut butter pastry for you too. But I guess you're eating that. Oh crap. Bella, I have to tell you something. Oh yeah, Bella got some updated braces stuff. Let's see your colors. Oh yeah. And then I have to put uh -huh. one of these in. Oh, oh yeah, she has one singular band on the left Excuse side. Excuse me! I'll just put that there. Uh. Okay, well let's go, y'all. Happy well, Saturday. Well, first I have to tell Bella something. Okay, tell her. Bella, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be upstairs. Watching the big No, 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 no. I'm gonna play ABC Mouse on the computer okay. up, up in the loft. Please. While you watch Grey's Anatomy, okay? okay? So you can't be fighting. All right? Yeah! 
Good morning and happy Sunday, everybody. So, yesterday I rode. Uh, didn't get a lot of footage. Wasn't taking footage while I was riding a Harley. Especially a rental. Uh, my Harley back home, yeah, maybe. But not on the rental. Um, handled a little differently. But it's been an awesome day riding with some uh, good people. Some I've known for like 20 years since my, my wee little fireman days in Japan. Um, but yeah, beautiful ride down the coastline from like Oceanside to La Jolla, uh, all around San Diego. And now I am, I uh, just got done reorganizing my luggage. A friend of mine's letting me keep it here till I leave, which is awesome. Thank you, um, but I got a couple flat rate boxes. Gonna send a couple boxes home so I don't have to lug some of the stuff um, to Washington. Gonna send a box ahead to Japan. Um, that way I don't have to lug it there. And, um, oh yeah, I'm moving to Japan. I don't think I've told you all yet. So, um, you know, the military life, you don't always get the orders you want. You know, we built the house, we bought the house. And uh, the goal was for me to get up to Washington, and it didn't pan out like that. So, had to make a choice. Um, if you're not in the military, if you've never been in a military family, I'm telling you now, do not judge the choice that I made. Uh, so, save your comments. Keep your comments to yourself if you don't understand the life um, that my family lives. Because it's not a decision that was made easily, uh, but it was a decision that was the best of all the options available. So I am gonna go home next weekend for a little bit and then I'm off to Japan for what may be my last ride, my last tour. I got a couple years left on this contract. Um, the alternate duty station was highly non-desirable. Um, so yeah, that was the choice that had to be made. You know, I think Bella was actually the one that made the choice when I told her the options. She's like, Dad, duh, go to Japan. Um, so I will have plenty of opportunities to get back to the West Coast to see my family. I'm going to fly them out to Japan um, often. Well, maybe not that often, but as often as I can. Um, but we're going to make the best of it for the next couple years before it's my turn to retire. So Renee will be retired at the end of next week. Congratulations, Renee. Um, you did it. But that is what's up. As far as today, um, I just vacuum packed a bunch of stuff in my luggage, run to the post office, I may run to the exchange, um, but it's gonna be a pretty low key day. Two days left on board the ship. I'm gonna go up to LA for a day or a night to see my Aunt Mary, and then I'm done. Uh, home on a Friday. So that's what's up with me. So there, Renee, I have broke the news to everybody. Um, so we will, I will still continue to provide content while I am in Japan or traveling or wherever I am. A lot of travel involved in this next duty station. So it's gonna be busy for me. I'm going to, um, like I said, make the most out of it, stay busy, the time's gonna fly by. Um, I will miss my family, yes. Uh, but it's one of the many hard choices that um, a service member has to make um, in their career. So again, I ask that you all respect my family, respect the choice that was made, and if you don't understand the life that we live, please keep your opinion to yourself. Um, don't mean to be doom, doom and gloom on that, but I've already got some negative feedback um, on the choice I had to make, um, which is not solicited or appreciated. So I do um, love you all, and um, yeah, that's what's up. Happy Sunday, everybody. Alec and I are chilling out in the car. Again, we spend a lot of time in the car. We just dropped Bella off at a park in Bothell. Here, this is what I can see for now. There's some of our little dancer friends over there. So for this Inspire, dancing recital thing that she's doing the full cast um is doing a dance and there's an artistic component of the dance where they're filming them running and jumping and skipping 
and it's gonna be played in the background of their dance and that's why they're at the park. They're filming that today. So, <clears throat> I wanted to jump on here and add on to Paul's um, message to you all. Um, because, you know, we live that military life and we're very precise and direct with our language. And I guess Paul has gotten a lot of um, negative feedback from our decision. So that's why he's a little like, punch you in the face with it. But some of the things maybe he didn't really explain is um, our family dynamic and the lifestyle we have lived for the past two decades. Um, and 11 of those years have been with children. And when you live a military lifestyle where both parents are active duty, it's challenging. There's a lot of, a lot of moving around and rushing along and unsettling of things. And then your, your kids also live, <laughs> live or work the same hours that you work. So, um, if we have an opportunity to lessen that life on the kids, that's what we're gonna do. So part of our decision in moving to Washington to settle down and to place deep roots within our community was for the kids, okay? So, um, so the Navy is not forever. And when the Navy is done, and when you're done with the Navy, like, you're done, okay? So, we have to start making those roots now to lessen the challenging transition for us. So I'm happy to start it, me and the kids. We built the house, we relocated, we're getting it going. My thoughts are all disjointed because Alec keeps like disturbing my thoughts with his noises and playing and, and weirdness back there. But anyway, the transition to leave the military is hard, okay? I'm doing it now. I'm having a little identity crisis of my own because it's like, now that I'm making this transition, like I'm losing my identity and my reputation and my status. And I don't know how to, uh, hold on to that or even if I want to hold on I don't know it's it's a whole big weird thing okay and both of us don't need to be going through it at the same time I'm happy to do it first and get the kids settled in their community okay and then Paul can follow a couple years later or however many years later it depends on how many tours he's going to do but it, it'll just be easier on our family to do it in chunks and not all at one time. So another component here is for the past two decades, 20 years, Paul and I have been lucky enough to co-locate our jobs. It's been very easy. I don't know about other services there may or may not have the range of choice that we have and picking where we want to go next or what we want to do next. But um, Paul and I have always worked that out and it's been always very easy and we've been able to be together. So this is the first time we will be geographically living apart, although we have been apart for a long time because it's just our jobs. I remember the first year that we were married, we were only together physically for three months out of the entire year. So this is the life that we have lived for a really long time. 17 years married, 18, this will be 18 years this year. And then the dating, so like it's been almost the entire 20 years. So this is what we're used to. This is our family dynamic. We're used to being apart and coming together and being apart and coming together. I think we've mastered um, the challenges with that. I have, I have all kinds of notes written down 
from after watching Paul's footage. So, Paul is not able to get orders to the area that we have currently moved to during his detailing window. So, and the other <laughs> options that he had outside of Japan just did not work for us. So the Navy gives us a lot of opportunities, um, but those opportunities sometimes involve sacrifice. Um, but when you're doing, when you're making sacrifices for your family, I think it's pretty easy. So our sacrifice is to be apart. So the sacrifice of Paul taking these orders in Japan, a place that we love by the way, um, gives us financial benefit and it gives us benefit for future stability. Everything that we have been planning over the last year comes to head now and will be supported by his orders in Japan. I know people don't understand our lives or the ins and outs of the Navy and the personnel management and ordering and um, retention of talent and, and stuff like that. With the choices we were given, we chose the right path that worked for our family. So I don't know, I don't know why anyone would put judgment on us or think something is wrong or like have negative thoughts I mean it's our life we don't live our life <laughs> so there's really just no place for it and we're gonna do what's best for us so what other people can do is just support us in our decisions and keep opinions to themselves because we got this and we've had it for the past 20 years and we're gonna continue to get it done in the best way possible that works for our family. We're totally looking forward to traveling to Japan and we're totally looking forward to traveling to maybe other places to meet up with Paul and of course Paul coming home to visit us. It's gonna be a big adventure over the next couple years and I'm so looking forward to it and I'm so looking forward to it because I love Japan. And I was never stationed in Sasebo. That's where Paul is going. We were always up in Yakuska. So it's very exciting for us. And this is an element that we've been waiting for and waiting for. And as soon as he gets there, we can set plans for visits and travel once he gets there and he gets everything figured out. But you know what, Paul's gonna be busy. He's gonna be busy doing his job. He's gonna be, although it's a staff shore job, he's gonna be out on the ships. He's gonna be doing a lot of traveling within the Western Pacific. So yeah, things are gonna be great. And don't worry about us. Everything is fine. We just want your love and support. And that's all. We don't need any negative vibes. <laughs> Welcome back, Bella. It's cold, I hated it. How was your running and jumping? Uh, it's cold. I hate it. Did you actually do anything except stand there? I ran while a drone chased me. Why a drone chased you? Yes. Whoa. So they gave us different hats. That's fine. That are very itchy like. Yeah. Okay, well. Oh. We have an hour until your next class starts, so we gotta get there, we gotta get some gas, and go, go, go. I gotta get warmed up. Yeah, I love you. So we made it back to the house, obviously. And I'm sitting here editing the vlog, and I noticed that I didn't close this out. So that's it for this week. Leroy is grumpy about something. Um, so that's it for this week. We love and we miss you all, and we'll see you next week. Bye.